Hello everybody, my name is Patrick and I own McDonald Timing. And welcome to an argument. See, for the last nine years, my wife and I have been witness to a nightly race and it's finally time to determine who's the fastest. You see, I'm in a relatively unique position to solve this because my day job is to do timing and scoring for track and field, cross country, road races and bicycle races. So it's less of a question of can I solve this and more of a question of how do I solve this? So all of my choices are from Link System developers in Massachusetts. They're all Finnish Lynx cameras, and they're all from different ages. This is my original camera. It's an Etherlynx 2000. It's high resolution and black and white. And the black and white means it might be a little bit better in the low light conditions. About 10 years ago, I came into this camera. It's an Etherlynx 2000 Plus, and it's the first color camera in my possession. And this is my latest camera. It's a vision, color is standard, and the best thing about this particular camera is it has Lux Boost 4. So it's going to be my choice for this event. You may be wondering, why don't I use my Fusion shooting 3000 frames a second? And there's two very good reasons for this. First of all, I don't own a Fusion. And second of all, these are not exactly trained Greyhounds. This is Gwen. She's a 10 year old purebred Welsh Terrier, weighs 16 pounds, spends most of the day lazing in the yard, and thinks that Max is a toy that we bought her to enjoy. She was once described as a bad dog by my father. <laughs> this is Max. He's 9, only 14 pounds, and is a Yorkshire Terrier miniature poodle mix, which makes him a hybrid. He spends most of the day grooming his nether regions and trying to eat dry poop, but he's wily and maneuverable. So those are the contenders. What's the race? So here's the run. Bamboo flooring, which can be quite slick, door to the corner, 30 feet, an additional 20 feet into the crates. Pretty simple. So the thing is, our dogs love their nightly treat. So I take them out for the final relief of the evening, and I let them in, and then they hammer this little 50-foot raceway. It provides the perfect opportunity for the purest form of argument between two spouses. One that doesn't matter at all. She thinks... I think it's going to be... In fact, never mind that right now. What are the terms? Three nights in a row, best two of three. Simple enough. Opening the door starts the race, first to the fridge is the winner. And I think Max is going to win. Yeah, he's a little smaller and he's not quite as powerful, but the corner in the middle is going to be very important, and he's far more maneuverable. So, let's get to it. So in the first race, Max gets off to a great start, comes around the corner, and gives up just a little bit. Loses a little traction. Gwen wins. Race two. Max out to an easy start. Gwen may have been hampered by a slight injury. Max takes it home. No problem. Gwen walking across the line. Final race, Max is off to a great start, comes around the corner and loses a little grip and lets up at the line. Well, you can't win them all. But for the first time since 1974, I'm wrong. But it couldn't matter any less. We're grateful for so many things. Thank you for watching. We wish you the best in these tough times. Take care. I think it's going to be Gwen.